Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 10 assignment of the course introduction to internet of things. So I tried my best to give you the most probable solutions guys. So if you found any sol uh, change to the, to the solution, the question you can please give your opinion in the comment section positively guys so that we can try to change it. But I think almost all solutions are correct. So please watch the video till the end without skipping. So for the past five years, we have been giving these solutions guys. So if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share that with your friends and classmates. So let's see the first question. Smart homes can be used for what? So it can be used for home monitoring, conservation of resources like electricity and security and safety. So the final answer is the correct option is option D guys. So mark option D as correct answer for first question. That is option D. Next, moving on to the second question now. So do watch the video till the end guys, because if you skip the video, you may miss some content. If I change any solution in between, you can be able to note only if you watch full video guys. Second one, which of the following is an IOT challenge in smart cities? So reliability, large scale and big data. So all these, three are the challenges of iot in smart cities so the answer is correct option is option d guys once again next third question the third one Select the statement or statements that are true for smart parking. So first statement, smart parking reduces traffic congestion. So it is correct statement. Second one, smart parking increases urban mobility. It is also correct. And third statement, smart parking reduces fuel consumption. It is also correct. So all these three statements are correct. So the answer is, the correct option is option C guys. Statements one, two and three are correct. So mark option C. Next, fourth question. Fourth one. Which of the following is a functional layer in smart parking? Functional layer in smart parking. So for fourth question, so all these three are correct only guys. So mark option D. Next, fifth question. Fifth one. So before getting into this fifth question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So for the course introduction to IOT, we have prepared the exam preparation MCQs, guys. So these are the combination of previous year's questions as well as our own ha handmade questions, guys. With five years of NPTEL experience, we have prepared this. So you, here you're getting a huge number of 300 MCQs, guys, which is almost equal to three years of NPTEL questions, right? So here you'll get a huge number of 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF link, guys. So last time, 75 to 80 percent of questions came from our MCQ PDF, guys. So according to the feedback. Uh, given by the students who take in our pack guys so many people got very good percentages and very good grade so last year we have sold it for 500 rupees even for one person also but in order to reduce burden on students we have reduced the price from 500 to 300 guys so 300 mcqs 300 rupees that is for one person so if you are only one person doing the course in your classroom so for one person it is just 300 rupees only guys and if someone is there along with you that means if your classmates are doing the same course or if your friends are doing the same course, if you take as a group, that means if you take for, uh, for two to five persons combinedly, it is combinedly 500 rupees, guys. So you can reduce a lot of amount individually if you take it as group. Even if you are one person, no need to worry. We have reduced the price for one person to 300 rupees only. So already many students have taken last time and got benefited. And this time also many people started taking our pack and they are already preparing, guys. So the course have almost come to an end. So take it now itself and prepare guys. So time is very valuable. So for one person it is 300 rupees and for two to five persons combined it is 500. So this is the mail ID you have to mail me. bk179479 at gmail.com. So I have given the same 
the email id in the youtube description as well guys so this is the mail id so this is the mail id so mail me guys so please mail me only if you want to purchase guys for other doubts you can ask me in the youtube comment section itself only if you are confirmed to purchase then only mail me guys so for one person it is 300 rupees and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees guys and there is second pack that is sample pack it's just a sample pack youtube membership you have to join so there is 100 plus mcqs only and the price is 89 rupees but only available in video format not pdf guys it is only for one person and for one month so if you want this youtube sample pack just go to our channel page so s kumar edu beside this subscribe button there is join button right so click on this join button and a window will be appear like this so select the second one videos only for members pack 89 per month pack and click on join again and make payment directly to youtube that's it you'll become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our members only videos so here you can see that IOT part two prepared and part one also prepared guys. You can get all these videos for the same 89 rupees guys. All the courses you can access. But my suggestion is it's better to take this 300 MCQs PDF pack because you are getting a huge number of 300 MCQs which all which almost touches every week of the syllabus. So you'll get almost exam ready. It will very much helpful for your preparation for the final exam guys. So for one person it is 300 rupees and for two to five persons combinedly it is 500 rupees. If you want YouTube sample pack also you can join directly to as our channel member. You can directly pay to YouTube only if you want to purchase the PDF version that is 300 MCQs Google Drive restricted PDF version. Then only mail me to this email ID guys. So now let's get back to the solutions. So fifth question. The, the mobile sensing in smart parking collects the what type of information? I mean the information in uh, what type so the answer is option b along the route option b along the route so mark option b as correct answer for fifth question next sixth one sixth question the network which provides amalgamation of various systems within a home is known as what? So for sixth question, the answer is option D. It is called home area network. Home area network. So mark option D. Next, seventh one. question which of the following is the correct full form of dlna standards for han home area networks so for seventh question the answer is option b digital living network alliance digital living network alliance so mark option b as correct answer for seventh question next eighth question next eighth question guys which of the following is a part of zigbee alliance zigbee alliance right so for eighth question the answer is option c all of these guys that means mitsubishi and evil both are the part of zigbee alliance so mark option c all of these as the correct option for eighth question so let me mark option c next ninth one network and application layers are defined by ieee 802.15.4 in zigbee is this is this true or false it is absolutely false statement guys because it is not network layer it should be physical layer and it not it should not be application layer it should be mac So both physical and Mac layers are defined by this, but not network and application layers. So the answer is the correct option is option B, false. Next, tenth question. Tenth one. 
which of the following is a feature of content centric networking so for 10th question the answer is option d guys all of these so mark option d next 11th question 11th one which of the following is a phase of icv development so for 11th question all these three options are correct that means the final answer is it should be option d all of these once again next 12th one Which of the following is a property of V2X? So 12, for 12th question, the answer is option B, guys. Distributed architecture. So mark option B as correct answer for 12th question. Next, 13th one. 13th question. The vehicles cannot you have to mark this the vehicles cannot be mobile in ad hoc domain of vanit so this is absolutely false statement guys actually the vehicles can be mobile so mark option b false as the correct option for 13th question next 14th one so before getting into this 14th question, I want to once again make you remember guys. So for the course introduction to Internet of Things, we, are, we have prepared a huge number of 300 MCQs guys in a Google Drive PDF link. So for one person, it is just 300 rupees. And if you are taking it as a group for two to five members, combinedly it is 500 guys. So you can save a lot of money if you take as a group. Even if you are one person, no need to worry, you can get it for 300 only. So with five years of NPTEL experience, we have prepared this guys so this is the mail id if you want to purchase so only mail me if you want if you want to confirm purchase guys because we are managing a lot of students so we have to go by order so if you confirm the payment exactly if you want to take it then only mail me guys so this is the mail id pk179417 at the gmail.com so i'll give the same email id in the description box as well guys so mail me and there is youtube sample pack so if you want this you can directly go to youtube channel our youtube channel and you can click on join button and make payment guys directly to youtube only if you want to purchase this huge number of 300 mcqs pdf pack then only mail me guys so now let's get back to the solutions once again so 14th question which of the following is the domain of vanit so for 14th question the answer is option c all of these so that means in vehicle and ad hoc. So option C, all of these guys is the correct option. Now moving on to the final question of the assignment, that is 15th one. Fill in the blank. ICV is based on what? ICV is based on what? So the answer for this 15th question is option A guys. Dedicated short range communication. Dedicated short range communication. So mark option A guys. So friends, these are the solutions for week 10 assignment of IOT course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and definitely share that with your friends and classmates. Guys. And don't forget to take this 300 MCQs pack guys. Already many students have taken our pack and started preparing guys. So prepare from now itself so, can, so that you can get more time at the back end for revision. So 300 MCQs, huge number of MCQs guys, only our channel is providing that. So for one person, 300 rupees, it is, and two to five persons, it is combinedly 500 rupees guys. So this is the mail ID. So mail me guys, already many students have taken and started preparing also. So that's it guys. So please uh, inform this to your friends and take it as a group. Or if you are one person, it is just 300 rupees, no problem guys. So that's it guys for this video. So keep supporting us like this. So until the next video, goodbye, thank you.